Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for chair yoga. We're going to be spending the first part of the class in the chair, the second part of the class lying down. If the floor is too far away from you, please bring the floor to you by lying on a mattress or a reclined chair that's nice and stable or a sofa. And we'll start on a chair that's comfortable and stable. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. And this is going to be different for each and every one of us. Remember, there's no wrong way to do any of this. Adjusting and adapting things for your body is exactly what needs to be going on. So you're listening to my cues a little bit of the time and then you're navigating that movement in your body. And if something doesn't feel right for you, change it up or do a previous one. Or if there's something else that your body is asking of you, tuning in and listening to the body and offering yourself what you need today. So if you need the support behind you, the back of your chair, take it. Otherwise, coming away from the back of the chair, root down through all the places that our body is supported. So our feet, our seat, maybe the back of your chair if you're leaning into it. You can pick up the toes if you like, spread them wide, doesn't matter if you've got shoes or socks on, and then let the toes drift down. So the toes are soft here. And then pushing down evenly, left to right feet as best as you're able to add a little bit of pressure, just enough pressure that the muscles of your legs start to wake up. You may even feel this down in your lower belly. And then let that pressure go and relax the muscles in the legs, the ankles, the feet, even the lower belly. Mm -hmm. Let me get that sense of grounding. Bring your awareness to where your seat meets the chair. And again, evening up our body weight left to right. Noticing if you can slide the shoulders over the hips so they're neither forward nor back of the hips. That way we're really using the structure of our body, the, the, um, not the muscles, but the skeleton of our body, our spine holding us up. The more we can stack our bones, the more our bones do for us, the less the muscles have to. And the muscles can relax in place as our structure holds us there. So, rooting down. From the pelvis down, we're nice and supported. And then from there, let's lift up through the spine. Crown of the head reaches just a millimeter taller towards the ceiling. And then roll those shoulders back and down a couple of times. Allowing the shoulders to settle down and away from the ears when you feel ready. And then we broaden across the collarbone, snuggling the shoulder blades just a little closer towards each other. And then we get this broadness across the upper chest, allowing our body to have as much space as possible on the inside so our organs are not um, crushed if we're um, collapsing in on ourselves and our collarbones are collapsed then consider the heart, the lungs, and everything else inside of you which doesn't have the space to do its job. So mindful posture and allowing for as much space as possible. Take a big breath in when you're ready. Keep the shape. On an exhale, make any adjustments you need to for it to be sustainable for you. Take a few breaths like that, letting those exhales Relax and release any tension, tightness. And then I always encourage people, if you feel stable and steady, lower or soften the gaze or even close your eyes for this next little bit. And we ask ourselves, how am I doing in this moment? Watch and observe anything that arises, letting it all be, not needing to fix or change anything. This is a check-in to notice how we're doing. Notice if there's particular things on your mind today. If there are emotions that are present.
Notice your body. You might notice your energy levels. You might notice tender places that you need to take extra care of. Try and stay away from the stories and stick to sensations. Relaxing tightness where you can find it as best as you're able. And then starting to tune into the breath as it comes and goes. Maybe breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you today. And if it's not comfortable, then breathe in the easiest way that you can find, whatever that is. Again, there's no wrong way to breathe. You might notice how the body expands on the inhale and softens on the exhale, however slight. We're going to start to deepen the inhale just a little and lengthen the exhale. We're not trying to find a magical breath. All we're trying to do is just deepen and lengthen in your own way, your own time. And then we start to smooth the breath, steadying it all the way to the top of the inhale and smoothing it all the way down to the bottom of the exhale. Steady and smooth. So following the breath in and out as if there was nothing else in the world to think about. And then with this breath, if there's any forcing or straining, just let it go, even if the breath gets smaller, softer. So we have this longer, steadier, softer breath. And we'll keep coming back to that breath. I'll keep reminding you. And at any time, if you're finding yourself holding the breath, take a moment to come back to this longer, smoother, steadier breath. So get really comfortable and familiar with it. And you can stay exactly where you are with your eyes soft, lowered, or closed. We're going to take that right arm dangling next to us once again, rooting to rise with this broadness across the collarbones, shoulders sitting more or less over the hips, and the crown of the head is reaching. And then from here, you're going to circle through that right shoulder, inhaling up, exhaling round and down. And what we're trying to find here is the smoothness that you just found in the breath. So we're not looking for the biggest range of motion, just like we weren't looking for the biggest breath but we're looking for the control and regulation of the movement here. So you might notice there are some areas that feel less than smooth and we try our best to smooth it out just like we did with the breath. The end of that exhale, let's pause and take those circles around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. And again, you may feel this in very different places in your body. It might not be in the shoulder. Steady the breath, smooth that shoulder movement. Mm -hmm. The end of the next exhale, when you feel ready, let's dangle that arm, come back to stillness. Hand comes into a soft or tight fist. You can leave those fingers out and we're going to start to circle through the wrist. One direction. And again, what we're looking for here is smoothness and control. Let's take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. There might be some snap work and pops in there. And then at the end of one of your next exhales, let's bring that hand back to support. Left hand dangles, the arm is heavy here. And then we're going to start to circle with the left shoulder. Again, Come back to that longer, smoother, softer breath and see if you can mimic that breath and the movement. So smooth movement. And if there's any forcing of the movement, see if you can let that go, allow it to become even a little smaller. But we have the control there. And it's going to look different for each and every one of us. So don't feel like it needs to be a certain way. Let's pause when you're ready. Take that round in the office.
opposite direction. So you can take that hand into a fist and keep those fingers out and we'll circle through the wrist. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Keep that breath longer, steadier, softer. Hand back to support, right arm comes up in a cactus. We're going to take those fingertips on towards that right shoulder. And then we're going to create circles here. So we'll dip that elbow down. And then on the inhale, we'll bring the elbow forward and up, exhaling back and down. And again, we're not looking for the biggest range of motion first. What we're looking for is the control of the movement. And there'll be some areas that you're trying to rush through. See if we can smooth it out, just like you smooth the breath. And the option is to stay here with that, those fingertips on towards the shoulder. If you have the space, option to come from the shoulder joint with the long arm. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're getting into the right shoulder. Nicely done. After your next exhale, we'll pause. If that arm is long, we'll take the fingertips towards the shoulder again. And now we're going around in the opposite direction. Longer, smoother, steadier breath. Longer, smoother, steadier movement. Mm -hmm. Option to stay here, option to extend that arm. One is not better than the other, just depending on what feels right in your body at this moment. Let's take another one or two here. Keep that breath mimicking the movement. And then we'll take that arm back to support if you've got any um, tension you like to get out with a little bit, um, a few wiggles, then please do. Left arm comes down the cactus, and then we're taking those fingertips towards the shoulder, elbow dips. Inhaling, elbow comes forward and up, exhaling, back and down. And again, longer, smoother, softer breath, and the same thing with the movement. Noticing if you're holding your breath at all, see if you can keep that breath smooth. Option is to extend that left arm. Mm -hmm. And if you play and, and try this and it feels better to have your elbow bent, please go ahead. And anywhere in between, of course. Let's take another one or two here. Mm -hmm. And then wherever you are, let's take those fingers back to support. And then we're coming around in the opposite direction, drawing circles with that elbow to start with. Keep the breath steady and smooth, the whole movement. And the option is to extend the arm, of course. The side may feel very different, so honor what feels best for you. And of course, when we lengthen the arm, we're having to use a little bit more strength through the shoulder. Let's take another one or two here. Be gentle with yourself. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, let's dangle those hands down. If you give your arms a little bit of a shake, I'm going to turn those palms out. Now snuff the shoulder blades towards each other. So as the palms come out towards the front or the side, the across the pectoral muscles here, expand as we're drawing the arms back in space. On the exhale, turn the palms down, maybe back behind you, maybe even up. And then the back, upper back, upper shoulders um, are widening and the collarbones are collapsing. And then we're gonna inhale, widen 
across the front body and widen across the back body and exhale. This is not just in the hands and the wrists and forearms, this is coming all the way through the shoulders. So you might notice on that inhale, the shoulder blades almost kiss behind you. On the exhale, the shoulder blades slide as wide as they can on the back body. And all we're getting there is that rotation. Mm -hmm. And then we'll come back to neutral, taking those hands back to support. If you are sitting into the back of your chair, I highly recommend you come forward as we get down through the spine here into a seated cat and cow. Rooting to rise, anchor yourself into the breath. And then on the inhale, we're going to use those shoulder blades coming towards each other as we slide the hands back towards the pelvis. On the exhale, push the fingertips towards the knees. And now draw the belly in, push the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. If you need to slide away from the back of the chair to get a little bit more space, please do. On the inhale, we've got the extension of the spine. So a long front body on the exhale, we're reaching into the back body, a big stretch there. Option to get into the cervical spine, you can lift the chin on the inhale, but lengthen the back of the neck so you're not just compressing there, controlling the neck on the exhale, drawing the chin down towards the chest, any amount that feels good for you. Keep the hands sliding up and down the legs, as we've done quite a bit in the shoulders, Inhaling and exhaling. You can take this all the way down. On the inhale, this tailbone slides out behind you. On the exhale, we're tucking the tailbone. Mm -hmm. Notice how this feels. Feel free to close the eyes or lower the gaze if that feels good to you. Let's take another couple here. If it drifted off, I'm going to take that right arm up in a cactus. Keep the heart shining forward. On the inhale, I'm going to take that elbow and hand back in space, opening up through the pectoral muscles here underneath the armpit. You might even feel this coming down through the elbow. And then on the exhale, I'm going to take the palm towards you and then draw the elbow in towards your face if you're looking at your forearm. Inhaling wide and exhaling, drawing that in. Mm -hmm. Now, if that arm is feeling pretty heavy, you can take that elbow down. The higher it is towards shoulder height, the more um, challenging that's going to be. Making sure that the collarbones are nice and broad and that we're not rotating with the movement. Nice. Next time we take that elbow out, your arm's probably getting a bit heavy. We're going to take three breaths. This is the inhale and the exhale. Rotating from the shoulder, let's take those fingertips down as if we're climbing into a half scarecrow. Inhaling into that half cactus. Again, longer, smoother, steadier breaths. One more here. Nicely done. And then the hand comes down. Give that a little wiggle. And we're coming to the other side, left arm up in a cactus. On the inhale, we're drawing that back in space. On the exhale, forearm and palm comes towards you in front of your face. Inhaling wide and exhaling, drawing that in. Take every other one if you like. If you're holding your breath at all, see if you can do less and focus on the breath. Let's take another two here. Mm -hmm. And as we bring it out, we've got one more movement to do here. This is the inhale and the exhale. So rotate those fingertips down. Inhaling, keeping the um, elbow up to whichever height you've chosen. Exhaling down. We've got one more to go here. 
nicely done. We'll take that palm down, give it a little wiggle, bring it back to support. Big breath in. And exhale it out. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to get into the side um, movement of the spine, the lateral flexion. So dangling those hands down, drawing the shoulders back over the hips, and the base of the skull is coming back too, as if we're leaning on an imaginary wall behind us. This is the inhale and the exhale. Let's dip those fingertips down. Inhaling up and exhaling, coming to the other side. Now as we're coming from side to side, keep both hips anchored down to the chair so we're not lifting the pelvis to get a little further down and then make sure those collarbones are nice and broad and on that inhale the head is right above the heart shoulders above the hips and again we're slightly leaning back here as if into a wall we're sliding up and down that wall and what we're getting here is that lateral flexion of the spine Trying to get all the movements of the spine so we keep up the range of motion and the fluidity. Let's take two more either side. Keep anchored in from the pelvis down. So nothing from the pelvis down is moving. Everything is in the upper body. And we're using the upper body weight to strengthen as well through the core, of course. And coming back to, through center, big breath in. Exhaling it out, taking those hands back to support. So a lot in the arms, I know. So let's root down to rise. And then coming into our rotation, our twist, we're twisting to the left to start with, and then we go to the right once we're done with the left. So rooting to rise, steadying the breath once more. This is the inhale and the exhale. Keep the pelvis anchored as we glance to the left, maybe even glancing over that left shoulder. Inhaling back through center, stay on the left side. Inhaling and exhaling. Nicely done. Now, if you're using a lot of your hands as leverage to bring you around, so you can hover the hand so the musculature of your torso is doing the twisting. So we're relying less on the arms. Option to keep in movement or twist for the last three breaths, stay. Glancing over that left shoulder, every inhale, we lengthen every exhale, deepen or soften into that twist. More or less, one more breath to go. And then on the inhale, coming all the way back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. Coming to the right side. Same thing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhaling, twisting to the right. Maybe glancing over that right shoulder. Inhaling back through center. And this side may feel very different, again, if those hands are doing a lot of the work. See if you can allow the torso to do the work instead of the hands. Even if you get less of a twist. Option is to stay in movement, or for the last three, twist and stay. There's still some gentle movement, inhaling, we release a little, exhale, soften or deepen. Keep that left hip pinned back so the pelvis is not moving. Stay for one more breath, unless you're resting or in movement. And on the inhale, we'll come all the way back through center. Big breath in, exhale it out. Nicely done. Let's take a little bit of external rotation here, taking the legs a little wider, making sure that if you need more stability, you're coming back in space. And then we're rooting to rise. And keeping the breath nice and steady. And then from here, hands supporting you, I'm going to start to roll and rotate the ribs. Inhaling, round and forward, exhaling, round and back. Getting into the spinal movements. You can get the shoulders, the head, the neck involved if you like. get the pelvis involved you might even notice down in the feet that you're pushing more into one foot than the other as your weight distributed changes and then at the end of that next exhale let's pause 
and then take it round in the opposite direction. Smooth and steady, but only as much as feels good for you. Mm -hmm. Keep the breath flowing, never holding the breath. And after your last one, let's come all the way back through the center. Hand towards your arm of that right knee. You can pick up the toes, even the ball of the foot if you like. Inhaling is wide. Exhaling, we're drawing that knee down and in. Now the further forward on your chair you are, the less support that leg has um, with the chair. So if you need more support, slide back. If you want a little bit more movement, slide forward as long as you feel stable. The left leg in your upper torso is not moving. Everything's just coming from the hip. And of course, that hand um, is helping you if you need it. If you don't need it, then just moving through the hip joint. Next time we come out with the knee, we'll take the foot down. We arrange yourself should you need to coming to the other side. Maybe those toes or the ball of the foot comes up. Inhaling wide, exhaling down and in. This time that right leg and your torso is nice and steady and the movement is coming from that left hip. Mm -hmm. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep the breath steady and smooth. And let's take another two or three here. If you need to adjust yourself, if your leg is traveling as it tends to, then um, know that that's completely normal. Stay for the last exhale. And when that left knee comes out, if the foot was up, the toes were up, we'll bring it back. And then take those feet back to parallel. And just washing the knees side to side here. Coming back through center, rooting down to rise, take a big breath in. Exhale it out nice and slow and steady. Beautifully done. And then we'll come down to our version of lying down on the floor. Maybe the floor for you is a mattress, again, a reclined chair or a sofa. Just make sure you have everything you need for relaxation at the end. And I will see you down there. Here we are, down on the earth, or your version of the earth, and we'll come all the way down to our back. Knees to the sky, feet to the floor, and then we'll pick up those hips, send them a little closer towards your heels. Feet are the comfortable distance. And then roll one shoulder blade and another underneath you. And from here, take a big breath in. On the exhale, let your body really sink into the support underneath you. And take a few breaths for that. Feel free to close the eyes, soften the gaze. And then from here, we're coming back to that steady breath in and out. drawing that right knee in towards you when you're ready. And then we'll just circle through that ankle. Point the toes and flex the toes at different times, but nice and smooth, blended in with that longer, smoother, softer breath. We'll take those circles around in the opposite direction. And then when you're ready, keeping that knee drawn in, we'll take the arms into a cactus or a T, or maybe even down by your hips, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then this is the exhale. So we're drawing that right knee up towards the right shoulder with the musculature of the legs. Keep the belly button drawn down towards the earth as if that lower back is imprinted. And the left foot reaching, um, pushing down into the earth is going to help anchor the lower 
back into the mat. This is the exhale. On the inhale, you extend that right leg long, hovering from the floor. That's the inhale. Exhale, you're gonna curl it in. And when we curl it in, really draw the right thigh in towards the belly or the ribs. Extending on the inhale. Exhale, we're curling it in. So we're not only going to getting into the hips here, but of course we're getting into um, the knee joint. And this is asymmetrical um, core work as well. So strengthening through the very center of the body. And this is the anchoring in that we have of the lower back in particular into the mat. Nicely done. Option to stay here in movement. Option to extend the leg and hover for three breaths. Use the left foot to anchor down. The belly button draws down into the earth and here we are. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's take a one last inhale here. And then the exhale, we're going to draw that knee in, give it a little hug, big breath in. Exhaling it out. Nicely done. And then from there, that right ankle is going to come on top of the left thigh. We've got a figure four here. Nice flex through that right ankle, protecting the right knee. Great place to be. Pushing the ankle and the knee away, but not compromising the lower back imprinted down into the mat here. And then from there, option to come into thread the needle as we draw the left thigh in. Maybe the hands come either side or behind that knee or even in front of the shin, depending on the length of your arms here. Let the legs do a lot of the work. So use the left leg, if it's up off the earth, to draw into the right ankle, right ankle pushes away. If you are using any of the arm strength here, it's not through the shoulders, definitely not through the jaw and the throat, and definitely not through the middle of your eyebrows. What we're using here, if anything, is the biceps. So this um, top front of your arms drawing in, but the legs are doing a giant share of the work here. And we're breathing. Getting into, of course, the right hip. If you want to add sensation, slide the whole shape a little to the left. If you want to decrease sensation, slide to the right. Keep the breath going. And then on the next exhale, we'll take that left foot down and release the right leg. Big breath in, exhaling it out, and then coming back to that longer, smoother, steadier breath. And then we'll draw that left leg in here. Give it a little hug wherever the hands land is good. And then we'll circle through that ankle pointing and flexing at the toes. So getting into the joints of the feet as well. And then we'll pause, take it around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And then when you're ready, we'll release the hands, take the arms anywhere that they feel comfortable for you. And this is the exhale, draw that left thigh in towards the ribs or the belly, and then on the inhale, you can extend that leg out long. And exhale, curling it in, really using the muscles of the leg to curl it in. The right foot is anchored down to anchor the lower back into the mat. Keep moving at your own pace. You don't have to do as many repetitions. You can do every other one. You can stay for longer in the either extended position or the drawn in position. Keep the breath anchored into your awareness. Option to stay here in movement or the next time we extend, option to stay there for three breaths. Lower belly is drawn down and in. 
pushing through that left heel and that right leg is anchored into the earth, of course, to anchor the back body down. Let's take one more breath here. And then we're curling that left knee in and then we're taking the ankle over the right thigh. Figure four, using the left leg strength to push the ankle and knee away. You can stay here or hover the right foot, gather the right thigh in wherever those arms come and are comfortable. Both feet are flexed here at the ankle, toes spread, protecting the knees and we're breathing here. Again, that bicep strength, if there is a knee in the arms, and then the legs are doing a lot of the work, so that right knee is drawn in towards the ankle, the ankle's pushing away on the left leg. Take the whole shape a little to the right to increase the sensation, the whole shape to the left a little is going to decrease that sensation on the left hip. You get to choose. Keep the breath flowing, steady and smooth. And then when you're ready, let's take that foot down on the right side if it was lifted. And we'll release that left leg. Just washing the knees side to side here. And then coming into a bridge pose. So hands either side of your hips, rolling one shoulder blade and another underneath each other. And then get really aware of your feet on the mat. If you need to redistribute your foundation, please do. Then on the inhale, pushing down into both your left and right feet evenly. And then we're hovering the hips about an inch off the earth. On the inhale, let's lift the hips up a little, exhaling, hovering. So inhaling, lifting, exhaling, hovering. And again, if you need to redistribute the foundation of your body, please do. This is not about the height of the hips here. What we want here is the control of the movement. So it's a very slow movement up to the top of the breath and a very steady movement down. So rather than just popping up and coming down, what we want is, again, the control, the steadiness of the movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Nicely done. Next time we take those hips to hover, let's take them all the way down. Give yourself a breath here. Exhale it out when you're ready. Now we can do the same thing, or we're going to add on. So, option to push down into the feet, and then we hover the hips. Get used to the foundation underneath you, and then the same thing here. Option to lift and lower, nice and steady and smooth here. Or option, coming into another option, we lift the hips and we stay. You can push down all the way down into the fingertips and thumbs or should you wish to roll one shoulder blade and another underneath you or maybe those hands come to bind underneath the pelvis. Push down into the earth as the hips and the heart lift. Use your feet evenly left and right and we're here for another three breaths. Can we keep the breath longer, smoother, and softer? Staying for one more full breath here. If you have a bind, releasing the bind and taking the hips all the way down on that exhale. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. And then we're going to gather those knees in towards you, give yourself a bit of a hug, and rock and roll a little from side to side. From here, let's take those arms and legs up into the air, nice and soft through the joints. And then we're going to rotate the ankles 
and wrists, fingers, thumbs, and the toes. Nice and smooth and steady. And then we'll take those round in the opposite direction. Coming back to stillness, just allowing yourself in stillness here. And then when you're ready, the hands come down. And then the feet come down slowly too. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nice and slow. Nicely done. And then from here, we're going to take those feet in towards each other and knees are going to come apart. So now we're getting into a wide reclined, wide legged or Sutta Baddha Konasana. If you have support underneath the outside of your thighs by bolsters or blankets or pillows, please take it. We're just going to take a few breaths here, this external rotation, opening through the groin. You can always take your hands as fists to the outside of your hips to support yourself if it feels like it's a little bit um, straining on the inside of your groin here. And breathing, nice steady breaths in and out. And then we'll draw those knees up and the feet come apart. From here we're taking that right knee in, hand to that right knee. We're going to start to circle the knee here, getting into the joint of the hip, of course. If you don't need the hand on the knee, please release. And if you wish to, you can extend that left leg along the And then we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Longer, steadier, softer breaths. Noticing how that feels in the hip. If there's any adjustments you need to make, please do that. And then when you're ready, we'll take that right foot down and shift the hips to the right. Draw that right knee in, up and over to the left, keeping the right shoulder anchored, and we breathe. Inhaling and exhaling, taking the gaze over that right shoulder, should you want to. Coming into a full body twist here. If there's any adjustments you need to make or another twist you prefer, please take your time. We want the breath to be steady and smooth here. And when you're ready, knee comes up to center. We'll take the foot down. Right foot joins it and we'll come back through center. Hand to the left knee now. And now we're circling the left knee, one direction. Option to extend that right leg long if that feels better for you. Noticing how this feels. And then when you're ready, we'll pause, take that round in the opposite direction. Keep breathing that longer, smoother, softer breath. Of course, getting that synovial fluid flowing in. And the option is to draw that left knee up. You can assist the hips over to the left. Extend the right leg as we draw the left leg over to the right, getting that full body twist. Left shoulder is anchored here. And we breathe steady and smooth. Noticing if there's any adjustments that need to be made for you. 
easy breath here. Stay for as long as you like. Or we'll start to come out, rocking onto the back of the pelvis. Knees bend and we'll reset our pelvis here. And then we'll take the ankles a little wider, knees in towards each other. And from here, we're going to take elbows to the floor and hands onto the chest. Eyes soft, lowered, or closed here. We're going to start to Come back to the breath, that longer, steadier, softer breath. And start to notice how your hands on your heart space, you start to notice that expansion of the inhale and the softening of the heart space on the exhale. following the natural rhythm of your breath. You can stay here or keeping the elbows on the earth, take the hands to the front ribs. I'm gonna breathe down into the palms of the hands here. Notice on that inhale as the ribs expand outwards, flare out on the exhale, they come back through center. And what we're looking for here is smoothness of the breath, smoothness of the movement. Option to stay there or lower the elbows onto the earth and take the hands towards or on the belly. And then breathe into the belly here on the inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, belly softens and lets go. Breathing into the palms of your hands, allowing the belly to expand. This unimaginatively is called belly breath. And you might even notice how as you breathe into the belly, the ribs and the chest are also expanding. And then also everything softens on that exhale. Let's take another five breaths here. Belly breaths. Longer, steadier, softer breaths in and out for another three. Last one. And after that last exhale, Coming into your idea of relaxation. You can stay here in constructive rest if you like, or if you want to extend your legs with as little fuss as possible, coming into the shape that suits you for the end of your practice. Any extra layers you need, go ahead and take that. And again, settling down and in to your relaxation. Taking a big breath in. Exhale, let everything go. And taking a few breaths just like that every exhale. Allowing yourself to sink deeper into the support underneath you. We let the practice go. Let all of 
our stories about what went well, what didn't go well, our bodies, the stories to connect it to our bodies. And we allow ourselves this time to unwind. Every exhale, allowing yourself to relax a little deeper into the support underneath. your mind gets busy, imagine it like an old-fashioned radio that you can just tune out the thoughts as if that was a radio station. Come back to the in-between. And then anytime a thought pops up, just consider tuning that out.
Stay for as long as you like. And if you wish to stay for longer, just let my words wash over you. Finish up your practice, feel into the support underneath you. And notice your body, the crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips. Start to take a breath in. Exhale it out nice and slow. And keep those steadier, more mindful breaths as you start to allow your body to awaken in its own way, different movements. And if you wish to stay exactly as you are, then please do. If you wish to slowly make your way into a different shape, then go ahead. Take a few breaths to get there. As you settle into whatever it is that you've decided on to finish up today, we feel that support underneath us. Allow your body to be held by that support. If there's any gesture that you wish to take with your hands, hands over heart, or anything else, please go ahead. We'll take a big breath in. On an exhale, dipping the chin slowly towards the heart space thanking yourself sincerely for being here today, for breathing, for moving, for making the time for yourself, from my heart to yours. 